Uh, it's Matt here for newshooter.com at BIR TV in Beijing. I'm back with Michael from DJI. Now these are your two brand new drones? Yeah, the Mavic 2 Pro and the Mavic 2 Zoom. Okay, now these are the follow up to the very uh, successful uh, Mavic Pro, which yeah. I believe is your biggest selling consumer drone yeah, of all it's time. A classic. It's a classic product. And what's the difference between, the primary differences between these two models? Okay, so uh, you can see that the Mavic 2 Pro has a Hasselblad uh, camera on board. So uh, this camera has a one inch uh, CMOS, so it can has better uh, better color, the better uh, better image quality in this camera. And it comes with a 28 millimeter lens. And, uh, and the big news is this has got a variable aperture now. We have a variable aperture from 2.8 to uh, 11. And the other news too, of course, is it's now 10 bit, no longer 8 bit, and it's yeah. also being able to record 100 megabits per second in uh, H.265, which is a big deal. Yeah, yeah, you, uh, all you said is true. And uh, this camera can shoot 4K 30 FPS in uh, 100 megabits per second. And there's a form of log on this particular camera, and the zoom yeah, doesn't the zoom have log. Have, yeah, the zoom doesn't have a log. So what's the primary difference with these two cameras? Okay, so uh, as we can see, the Mavic 2 zoom has a longer lens, so which means that he can, uh, it has a 24 millimeters to uh, 48 millimeters uh, lens. And that's an analog zoom, and I believe there's also a digital zoom that takes it out to 96 millimeters. Yeah, so with the uh, with the analog zoom and digital zoom, we can have uh, 24 millimeters to 96 millimeters zoom in this camera. And safety safety wise, both of these. Uh, these new drones have got a host of new um, safety built into them. Yeah, Apparently, safety. the the safest drones you guys have ever built. Yeah. And uh, we can, uh, yeah, the safety fe safety features on these two drones are the same. It has a really great improvements this year. Uh, we now have eight lens on these drones: the forward, the backward, uh, the the downward uh, cameras. So uh, these cameras are all for uh, these two cameras are for uh, positioning. And these all cameras, the, 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 the front facing camera and the backward camera is for uh, obstacle avoidance. And I believe there's one on the top as well, so if you're flying upwards, you're not gonna hit, go into a tree or something. Yeah, and this sensor can, uh, this sensor can detect uh, the obstacles up to eight, me eight meters away from this drone. So uh, when we are flying on, uh, so when we are flying in the, something like forest, and uh, the indoor uh, places, so uh, we don't have to worry about the drones with, to crash into crash into the trees and uh, other ceilings. So weight and size wise, it's a little bit bigger and a little bit heavier than the original Mavic Pro, but you've still kept the same sort of design uh, functionality in terms of being able to fold up. Uh, the batteries are obviously all new and this has increased flight time from the previous Mavic Pro. Yeah, um, and the uh, the flight time for our new drones have come to 31, mi 31 minutes, so it's a bit longer than the previous one. So uh, the reason why you think this camera, uh, this drone is much uh, a bit heavier and bigger than the previous one is because that we put more cameras on this drone. So uh, these cameras um, require we have to, uh, require we to have, uh, get a better computing system for this drone. So uh, which uh, add a lot of loads on this drone. And one of the other things too, I believe that it's got now eight gig of onboard recording, which the Mavic um, Pro previously didn't have. Yeah. So if you happen to forget your SD card, which a lot of people do, you, you're yeah. still sort of covered. Yeah, uh, we think this feature is really great for some photographers first, because uh, we can't avoid to forget to bring our SD cards out of our computers after we, we Get this out. Get this SD card out of the drone. So uh, with these features, uh, many photographers don't have to worry about going to a good place without a SD card on the on the drone. And uh, some people were, were inquiring, saying, "Oh, maybe you'll be able to swap the cameras out. So buy one Mavic, one new Mavic Pro 2, and, and swap these camera gimbals over." But that's that's not the case. Uh, for safety consideration, we think it's not very uh, safe for our users to change the camera because uh, we know that the camera is really small on this drone. So uh, it's different from uh, Inspire 2, which is which has a 
uh, camera mount for different cameras, such as the Samus uh, S4S or S5S or S7. So in these drones, we think our users can uh, just change to different cameras from our DJI official uh, after-sale support. So with our after-sale supports, we can... Uh, so you can actually factory change them. So if you wanted to change from this camera and gimbal to this camera and this gimbal, you could send your drone yeah. into DJI and get it swapped over. But, yeah. you, but users can't do it themselves. Yeah, uh, we don't think uh, users do this with, uh, do this themselves. It's a very good choice. So um, for the quality of our drones, we think we can provide this, this service uh, by our official technical support team. Thanks very much. You're welcome.